Linda and I are not big drinkers, but we still want to create signature cocktails for everyone at our wedding. Mm -hmm. Don't mock us, but we're already high on life, so we don't... Don't mock us because we're creating mocktails. Yeah! High five. How are we going to settle who goes first? How we settle everything. On three. One, two, three! Ah, that means I get to go first. No, it's best out of three. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah. One, two, three! Ah. Yeah. This is a blueberry ginger mojito. I have blueberries, some fresh mint, some lime as well, some ginger beer, and then I'm gonna use this lovely little beast to muddle it all up. All you have to do is grab a handful of blueberries, grab a handful of mint, a handful of lime. You gotta muddle it up in here. The best way to muddle is to get into a rhythm. It's starting to come together. All right, ready? I'm gonna fill her up. Get it all in there. Fill it up basically to here with ice. And then we're gonna pour in the ginger beer. One thing to keep in mind, some people don't like to keep the lime wedges in there, but I think it adds flavor. Mm -hmm. Strami. Ready? This one is called Sunset Mocktail. Splash of grenadine, mango juice, lemon, and some more mango for some garnishing. Mine is super easy. I'm gonna throw the ice in the glass, pour in the mango juice. Whoa, this is where the magic happens. Watch the sunset as the grenadine melts down the ice cubes. A little bit of garnish, like a sun, and some mango. It's the Sydney Opera House. And last but not least, the little straw. Feel Hold like on. I had this in my back there pocket. There you go. I was gonna say it's missing me. something. Switch it up. And cheers. cheers. Mm -hmm. cheers. Happy mocktailing. See you at the wedding. <laughs>